Hey, good afternoon to all of our beautiful fire signs in the world. Fire signs would include Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energies. Welcome to your tarot reading today. So I thought we would do a tarot reading for all fire signs. It'll be a weekly tarot reading this week. So we, we'll be picking up on the strong energies that are there in the world of all you beautiful fire signs. Uh, and it's a beautiful day right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fantastic. I'm feeling very balanced. It's been a, an amazing morning. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, July the 13th. Time is just about noon, Mountain Standard Time. Uh, I've already taken some time today to go down to the swimming pool. I just love spending time down at the pool. And I found that if I go down there really early before it gets too hot, many times I'm the only one down there, so I have the whole place to myself. It gives me a beautiful chance to go down and to work on my breathing. I do Wim Hof breathing, W-I-M-H-O-F-F. -F. It's here on YouTube if any of you are interested. Beautiful breathing exercise. I also do some stretching. To be honest, it's my opportunity to connect with the elements. I love being in the water. I love connecting with the energies of the water. I love breathing in the air. I love looking at my beautiful surroundings that are all around me, those beautiful earth energies, connecting with those, and then I love feeling the warmth of the sun on my skin. So, beautiful opportunity to connect with earth, air, fire, and water energies. So, I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a great energy to do your tarot reading today. Uh, fire signs. Let's get started. Let's see what's happening in your world. Um, I'm going to pull three energies from my Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. Those energies are going to kind of give us the framework of what's going on. Um, and then I'm going to use my crystal vision to pull us the clarifiers. But before we get into that, let's pull an affirmation card for you. And let's just see which affirmation my guides and your guides feel would be best suited for all fire signs to hear today. Okay. This may be a new affirmation for me. It says... My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Well, this is beautiful, actually. We're talking about transformational kind of energies here. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. So we're talking all about growth today for all fire signs. And I love talking about growth. I love talking about spiritual growth. Let's get into your tarot reading and let's uh, let's pull some energies. Let's see what's going on in the world of fire. Tell us what's happening for all fire signs, please. What strong energies are showing up in the world of fire? Okay, beautiful energy taking us into your tarot reading today it comes to us as material harvest. So, Nine of Pentacles energy right here. Looking at the figure on the card, he's sitting down at this table, and he has his harvest in front of him. But notice his body language. That's kind of the key here. His hands are open, right? Almost as if he's in the energy of expressing gratitude. And he's feeling very enlightened right here, right? With this orb of energy taking place around his head. A very independent energy. Uh, so yeah, fire signs, you may be in this very energy where you're just, you're aware of all of the, abun the abundance that surrounds you, right? And if you're wise, you're taking some time, maybe filling it intuitively to just open up your arms and express gratitude for all of that abundance that you have. Let's keep going. Let's pull another energy for you. Tell us what else is happening in the world of fire signs, please. So I've changed the background music. I really like this background music. I like her voice, right? It's almost kind of opera-like, and I love opera. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Okay, coming in right underneath Material Harvest, we have some swift movement here. Uh, positive movement forward. Looking. So this is talking about the energy of speed and of quickness, right? Some, something coming in quickly for fire signs. We know it's coming in quickly because look at the cells, right? They're at full mass right here. So big wind picking up in the cells, propelling the boat forward, and the boat's moving forward quickly. So you've got something coming in you pretty quick here. We're going to find out what it is. Let's pull one more energy from this deck. 
Tell us more about what's happening with all fire signs in the world. It's a time of taking some action right here. You have the base chakra coming in. All right, so root chakra. It's our first chakra located right at the bottom of your spine. This chakra, it really, it's about when we open up this chakra, it's about taking action, right? And there are ways, there are exercises that you can use to open up this chakra. And they're visualization exercises. So just go to the lower part of your spine, in your mind, and imagine a red ball of light, right? If you're male, you imagine this red ball of light spinning counterclockwise, right? If you're female, you imagine this ball spinning clockwise. Uh, I like to do this exercise when I'm down in the jacuzzi because I put that bottom jet on the bottom of my back, which gives me that physical sensation down there. And that physical, physical sensation, it helps me on my visualization because I have a little sensation there that helps me to visualize it. So I feel like it makes it more effective. So those are just some ideas on taking action right here. But I feel like, you know, we're taking action and we may be in the energy of taking some quick action and this quick action may have everything to do with material harvest right so i feel like there's going to be some some type of positive gain here let's pull some clarifying energies let's get in a little bit deeper let's find out a little bit more using uh crystal vision for the clarifiers let's begin with material harvest tell us about material harvest for all fire signs please material harvest for all fire signs. Okay, first energy we have coming right out to us. Here's your fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. King of Wands energy. I feel like it's, this is representing your energy is, is the fire sign. And you're in the energy of you know, recognizing the abundance that you have in your life. And if you're, if you're wise, you're not just recognizing it, but you're in the energy where it's like, I'm expressing my gratitude for this abundance. Please clarify the King of Wands energy. Okay, so coming in attached to the King of Wands, we have Virgo, uh, the Hermit card just came in. So going inward, right? Taking a little bit of me time, a little bit of loan time, right? And I feel like, this is an important energy for all fire signs because why is it that you're going inward, right? You're going inward to be able to feel and to recognize all of the abundance that you have in your life. And, to, and when I say feel it, I mean feel the gratitude, right, for that abundance. Going inward to, to be able to connect yourself with this energy. Coming in attached to the Hermit card, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So destiny right here, right? For those of you that feel like your life experience, that you're on a destined journey in your life. It's the slowest moving of the night energies, right? But it's the most reliable energy. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this energy is coming in because there's no sense in rushing, right? This the, stepping into the hermit mode uh, and being able to feel and express your gratitude, you know? And what is it that you're expressing your gratitude for? The big picture right not just everything that i have in the present moment but i'm looking back on my entire life experience and everything right that that, that ex those experiences brought me right the good experiences as well as the challenging experiences and i'm expressing my gratitude for that especially the challenging energies okay let's continue tell us more about material harvest for all fire signs Okay, so we have three energies coming in. You have the Seven of Pentacles energy coming in attached to the Ten of Pentacles energy. So this is just pointing out the abundance to you, right? For you to be able to recognize and to feel the abundance in your life. Seven Pentacles right here that she's created, that she's manifested. Notice she's not creating right now. She's taking a time out, right? Maybe she's taking a time out to really think about and express the gratitude in her life. She's expressing the gratitude for all of the abundance in her life, his or her life right here. I say her because it's a female on the card. Now attached to the Ten of Pentacles, part of your abundance 
it's this soulmate energy that's coming in right here. So husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, business partner, um, best friend, a child, right? A sibling. And look, and if you're in the energy, it was like, I don't know who, I have no idea who on earth this person is in this card. Maybe it's representing the energy of your higher self, you know, of feeling this abundance within you. <laughs> you're abundant. All right, let's move down to positive movement forward. Please clarify, positive movement forward for all fire signs. Okay, so clarifying positive movement forward, you have, <coughs> excuse me, you have the judgment card. So judgment coming in <coughs> attached to the five of cups. <coughs> so this is all about <coughs> being able to change your focus, right? You're wanting to create positive movement forward. Positive movement forward happens when your energy is open, right? And when you're in the energy where you're recognizing the gratitude, right? You're feeling the abundance in your life and you're expressing that. Whether you're physically saying it or you're saying it in your mind, it's a fair question, right? It, it doesn't matter. It's more of the feeling that you're experiencing as you're expressing gratitude. So five of cups, focus here on three cups that are tipped over in the water right when i'm in this energy i'm not feeling any gratitude in fact, when I, in fact what i'm feeling is i'm feeling some energies of judgment you know because who was it that caused these three cups to be tipped over in the water right somebody was on on the other end of this so maybe i'm feeling energies of judgment towards them or it could be in the energy of just feeling judgment towards myself you're wanting to free yourself from this energy and that's what gets the positive movement forward Coming in next, beautiful energy. Leo just showed up for the party. Uh, the sun energy. Let's clarify the sun. Please clarify the sun for all fire signs. Please clarify the sun for all fire signs. Okay. So we've got three energies coming in. Attached to the sun, you have the fool's energy. So I'm embracing this energy of Leo where I'm, I'm letting go of the fears, the worries, and the concerns, right? And maybe there are fears, worries, and concerns connected to this Three of Cups. It's like, yeah, that was something that happened in the past, and I don't want to repeat the past, right? But if I'm thinking those thoughts and I'm in those energies, I'm likely going to repeat the past, right? But when I'm freeing myself from those energies, it's like, yeah, I just feel so much gratitude in my life. This is a youthful energy where I'm adventurous, getting excited about stepping into a brand new adventure right here. And it's coming in and coming in quickly. The opportunity to let go of the fears, the worries and the concerns, and to feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. The opportunity to live life with childlike enthusiasm. Okay, so coming in next, you have the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here coming in attached to the Queen of Pentacles you have the moon energy so Pisces energy just showed up and I need to pull another clarifier to get a better sense of what's going on with these two energies tell us about the Queen of Pentacles and the moon card please Tell us about the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon card, please. Okay, so clarifying the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon card, you have the World card. So the ability to be able to change your world and attached to the world card, you have the Ace of Cups. So I, feel, I felt like something was coming in quickly, right? And what's coming in quickly is this brand new beginning for you, the Ace of Cups. It could be love, it could be romance, could be connected to this Two of Cups energy. Uh, but it's a beautiful, loving beginning, right? That's coming in attached to the world card. So yeah, I mean, really at the end of the day, what are we talking about here for you fire signs? We're talking about 
your ability to literally be able to transform your life, right? And I feel like you have, you're in the captain's chair right now. You have the ability to transform your life. You have the ability, right, to transform your life by embracing this Queen of Pentacles energy. And I'm looking back on all the past experiences that I've had in my life. And I'm feeling gratitude for those energies. I'm feeling gratitude even for the time for the times where I felt like I was lost. I felt like I was in the dark, having to feel my way around right here. Difficult energies right here. When I had to face my, my dark side, right? My shadow self. Uh, I'm grateful for those energies. And I feel like it's this strong amount of gratitude that's giving you the opportunity. It's like when I'm feeling that blessed and that abundant in my life. I'm stepping into the energy where if I feel that much gratitude, everything in my world changes. Like work, being at home, your alone time, everything changes because you've changed with raising the vibration of your energy. So here you are moving towards this beautiful Ace of Cups beginning that's wanting to come in and come in quickly. Let's move down to the base chakra, right? Taking action. Please clarify the base chakra for all fire signs. Nine of Cups energy. Taking action, right? Going after what it is you want in life, right? Because look, at the end of the day, this is your life. This is your life experience, right? Am I gonna put energies into everything that everybody else wants out of you? Or is it your life? Do you wanna put, invest energies in what your hopes are, what your dreams are? This is all about your journey right here. Please clarify the Nine of Cups for all fire signs. Okay, so coming in attached to the Nine of Cups, you have the Six of Cups. So Six of Cups represents the energy of somebody from your past, possibly somebody from your past coming back. So look, if you're fire sign energy and you're in the energy where it's like, I want to reconnect with somebody from my past, here's your energy coming in for you right here. And it's this energy that's, I mean, it's what, what it is you want, right? This is your, your desires, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams and this is all about you taking action right so think about okay if i'm thinking about if i'm fire i'm thinking about somebody in the past right that i want back into my life think about like what actions can i take today that might plant seeds to stimulate right this person coming back into my life you you're the captain you're in the you're in the you're in the control seat right now please clarify you have Two of Wands coming in, so stepping into a journey, right? An adventurous journey that's exciting. Uh, I feel like this energy is connected to the Ace of Cups. So you're stepping into a passionate, creative journey that you're excited about, that you're going to love. You may be stepping into this journey with somebody from your past, for some of you. Please clarify the Two of Wands energy for fire signs. Maybe, huh? Please clarify the two of wands for all fire signs. Okay, we've got two more energies coming in. This is where we're getting our clarification. Two of Wands, stepping into it, it's an adventure, right? Could be stepping in this journey with somebody else. Um, notice the world in the tail of the dragon. So look, at the end of the day, we may be planning a trip together, right? Maybe planning a, planning a vacation. Where are we gonna go? Who knows? We have the unknown card coming in attached, right? To the Two of Wands. 
look, stepping into a new adventure, some of you will be in the energy where you're stepping into it with somebody else and experiencing this adventure with them. And others of you, you may not be stepping, you may be an independent journey. Because here we have the Nine of Cups here as well. So I feel like we're talking about journeys for both. Some of you are going to be stepping, a journey with somebody else. And others, you're going to be stepping into this very independent journey. But you're not alone. You're reminded that you're not alone right here with the High Priestess energy. So even if it, at the end of the day you feel like you're alone, you're not. You have your guides here, right? You have spiritual guides that are with you every day, right? Throughout all of your interactions, working with you to create a beautiful experience for you to take, for you to have in this lifetime. It's like, that's what they want you to have. Okay, fire. I think I'm done with your tarot reading here. Wow, I feel like you guys had a beautiful tarot reading. I hope these energies are resonating with all of you. I mean, look, why not claim this reading? I feel like it's a really good reading. Uh, fire signs, wishing you all the very best. If these energies are resonating, and if any of you are interested in getting a personal tarot reading, send me an email at treeoflifetarot, the number nine, at gmail.com. I'd love to connect with you and schedule a time to work on your personal tarot reading. That's what I love to do. I love, I love connecting with people. I love getting to know people better, making new friends, and I love being able to see and find different ways that I'm able to show up and help them out in their life, right? Just to help them along in their spiritual journey. Okay, Fire, wishing you all the very best. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for the beautiful love and the support that you guys provide me. You guys inspire me. Okay, Fire, love you guys. Wishing you a beautiful day today. Go out and make it happen.